standing in somebody's closet and scaring the holy Jesus out of them like going Burr. when they open up the closet door and they see a half-eaten flesh thingy with parts of skull and rib cage and just the screen stuff you know I'm glad my nose is stuffed up right now because I can imagine that your smell I bet you I bet you, you stink really bad and I'm just I don't know. I, I still want to be your friend because you're kind of cool. But I don't know. Stench is a big part of my uh, life. I'm not the love of stench, but the hatred of stench. I don't like to smell stinky people. And even though we may consider you a pig, you're also a man. You're a pig man. So that makes you person. And stinky person and me just don't do it um i'm sorry if i've angered you but you've got to go so guess what why are you right on the edge come on come come after me man come on you can do it I, oh even my sword broke i did i punch you to death oh, i even had people want to kick me from up there all right Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. If I were to get a double chest of potatoes, I would have to get a double chest of cooked potatoes. And if I were to get a double chest of cooked potatoes, what else has potatoes? Hmm. A double chest of rabbit stew. Hmm, doesn't sound too tough. The rabbits might be a little bit painful. But rabbits do. Normal potatoes. Cooked potatoes. What else can you get with potatoes? Not that one. Poison potatoes. That is gonna be my bane of existence when it comes to potatoes i want a double chest of these poisonous potatoes and each time i do this field which is not huge but this is a pretty big field i get maybe 10 15 poison potatoes and you may ask yourself what do they belong in this world okay let's get out of the talking head song so we got the poisonous ones there we got the normal regular potatoes there and we got the baked potatoes there and yes we got a full double chest of rabbit stew uh and to get a lot of rabbits to make rabbit stew go to a desert there's plenty of rabbits in the desert just go around for a half hour and kill a bunch of rabbits you'll, you'll be fine with that so the, the reason what i'm doing with the potatoes is we just need to get the poison potatoes. Those are all done. You're like, wait a second, KMA, this was the beets originally. All right, let's go through the beet situation. We got the beet seeds. Don't need any more of those. We got the beets. Gee, <laughs> how surprising. Oh, look at this beet root soup. Did you guys forget about that? We got the double chest of that. And with beets, you can get red dye so i got my double chest of red dye Woo so beets are all done so the stuff that i was gonna be doing you know the beets were over on this side so i overtook them with potatoes potatoes you cooked those potatoes and ruined them with the pet oh, sorry now over here we had carrots all right normal everyday carrot and this is for the golden carrots took all the gold i had and made as many golden carrots these are my favorite food just because it's a kind of show off food for eating golden carrots on a server or a you know single player world you're usually doing pretty good it means you got a gold farm going and stuff I'm pretty sure carrots probably go into something else. I haven't really looked at it, but this right here hints at what I'm doing today. I want this chest to be a golden carrot, completely filled with golden carrots. 
so we need to make a gold farm that is basically what today is involving is gold farm making let's go to the nether and I will show you exactly what I mean I'm very proud of this I don't ever 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 do this in order to have a gold farm the best place to do it is above the nether it used to be fairly easy to get a hole in the, the farm to go from down here to on top of the nether roof so let me show you my the hole I made I had to find the exact spot so I could do things just right and so this is my hole mm -hmm. this room is the room of wholeness and there is my hole to the nether now I am gonna put on to the sign exactly how you do that Those signs will stay there forever just to remind myself that I am such a doofus that I did not want to go through the method of spending a half hour 45 minutes making some sort of piston concoctions I blow off the piston extenders and then make the hole myself no I just went like this open to land cheats on start land world I'm not gonna do it right now I do this very rarely only to save myself a hell of a lot of time <laughs> if time was not an issue I would have made this this hole correctly but time is an issue I cheated I feel bad about it not really time wise it was the right thing for me to do if you need to know how to put a hole in another roof go look it up Put hole in nether roof 1.13. It's a whole bunch of weird sticky pistons and a, and, a, um, and a slime block, and somehow it works. But I do feel bad that I did this illegally. That's why I'm making a big deal about it because I hardly ever, ever, ever do anything illegal to do to do that. So, but it got me to the nether ceiling and um, the fastest way that I can make this video correctly. So now that we are up here, um, I have made the initial slipknot, slipknot, no, the initial impulse V farm where you ride a rail back and forth and you throw a snowball at a pigman and the pigmen come at you then they get sucked into a crusher then you go back into it again and the pigmen come after you again and they get sucked into a crusher and it was uh oh god it's gotta be a five six year old thing now with gold farms then they started making the donut gold farm where you have the donut in the center you throw a snowball at it and the pigmen come after you then they fall down and then you have the the pistons throwing the xp back up at you but this one that i'm gonna do is basically i'm gonna make an area maybe 10 blocks high as the top of the sorting area because i like to have sorting machines with these things then above that, I'm going to have 25 uh, blocks for them to drop. Then on top of that, I'm going to have three or four platforms that are going to be 47 by 47 with a layer of glass on top. So none of these uh, baby sounding gas will form up here to make life ugly sounding and all that. Then I'm going to make an AFK place above it. The pigmen will form on these platforms and 
what the best thing about what these platforms is in the center of the platform there's this big hole with crafting um, the uh, trap doors and they think they're full blocks and there's going to be an egg a turtle egg in the middle the pigmen like to go after the turtle egg so i'm going to stick a turtle egg in the middle pigmen will come down drop to 25 feet and then their their goo will go into a chest and i'll probably have the um rotten flesh just burned and just save on to the gold i'm gonna get to work thank you for bearing with my explanation of the whole that is embarrassing to me because i looked down so much when i first started getting into this all right let me uh show you a little bit of work i've done so far on this there's a there's a spot there that collects uh, gold and and flesh because i have this 47 by 47 platform up here which is about 2200 blocks of I use red terracotta first off see if I can do this without dying okay I can this first level right there that will be the level that they go splat on all right this is the collection level where I'm gonna have my um, my sorters so I can sort the gold from the other stuff so let's get to the top here and show you what it's all about. So basically, the whole way this works is there's a turtle egg right here. Pigmen form on here and they come and they try and get the turtle egg. They think the trap doors, you know, are good to cross, but they're not and they just fall down. So, with that said, now you see all the pigmen form in there, and they go, oh, look, there's an egg in the center. Let's go run towards it. Um, not sure, maybe I made it a little bit too big there because these pigmen aren't running towards it. So I'll definitely recheck the size here. It's supposed to be 47 to 47, but it almost looks like I made it 49 by 47. Thanks. So that's how that's gonna work. I'm gonna lift up this platform up to about to that level. They should still die. At some point, I might make it so I can push in so they don't fall all the way down so I can kill them for XP. But um, first, I'm gonna get ready and work on the next couple of stages of, um, whew, of platforms. So I need to go get another whole bunch of blocks and I gotta get my pick fixed. All right, we made a thing, <laughs> and that thing is not arrogance. But no, we did make arrogance. Um, I I made a, a hangout platform up here in the redness of Red Netherland, and when we look down, we see oh my god, the pigmen galore just falling to their death. Now a couple of things. Now you may notice here, there is a layer of glass on top of the platform, so it's too high, but there's only one platform. I ran into a problem when I tried to make a second platform. I made half of the second platform, and then I realized I needed two air spaces above that, and I thought to myself, well, um... Maybe this amount of gold is good enough because look at that. I mean, there, there we go. We just made a, th a, a thumbnail, maybe a possible thumbnail there. Um, that is a lot. So I, this is the AFK spot. Um, this is the actual AFK spot. I'm, I'm, I'm actually off one here. I just half slabbed everything just to make sure that nothing uh, would spawn up here. Um, so let's go down the easy way or the hard way. Oh, okay. And uh, there's where they come down and they splat on that. And for some reason, I thought it would be cool to make a staircase all the way up so they can go splat. But there's no reason to have that staircase. Actually, I could get rid of the staircase because the only reason why I use it is to check the higher chests to see if I got things in them and as you see I, I have got uh, some I've done some AFK I'll show you some um, 
some results from that. I get rid of some things I was looking at. The, the, the trusty old crafting table. So you can take all this rotten flesh. As you see, I've taken the gold out of this. And uh, I've got lots of rotten flesh that I'm not going to use at all. Um, I mean, I could trade it with the villagers and get something. But, um, yeah, rotten flesh ain't, ain't anything good to keep around. But just for giggles and something that rhymes with pits, I got my double chest of rotten flesh so I can have that double chest of every possible thing in the, this game so how good is this farm the farm is pretty decent I've made the original impulse SV rail cart gold farm I have made the donut shaped gold farm and believe it or not I have to say this gold farm produces more gold even one platform that's 47 by 47 it produces more gold but the big poop be thing about this which I could change I could change if I wanted to maybe is um, it's not an XP farm at all there's no XP to be had so that's a big no-no because the, the gold farms are really really good for XP excellent um, but I plan on having an ender end so I can get my XP there um, Maybe I'll do the thing that um, Foxtails did on uh, Mr. Craft and just like completely Annihilate an area and make this flying machine contraption that gets you all sorts of Nether things that gives you lots of XP so um, I've AFK a couple of times here it doesn't really work when I'm down here, so you'll see a couple of things. Um, and I think what it did, say I had this platform up 10 from the ground, just so I could make a uh, sorting system, which I'm going to definitely have to do. I'm just going to throw the, <laughs> the rotten flesh into lava or something. Lava. I, I almost said lava because that's uh, Boston and me. We add ours where they don't belong so lava would be lava or idea would be, be idea but whatever so 10 up to there 25 to kill them and then I went up to 250 I think that's another 50 I don't remember but as long as it's not beyond 64 blocks the AFK point you're doing okay so I've AFK uh, approximately four to five hours and I've gotten eight golden nuggets. I've actually even gotten 20 gold ingots, but uh, that's about uh, five or six hours. So at that rate, we'll say one stack of gold blocks per hour. But I'm going to have to redo this right now so I can get rid of all this rotten flesh. I don't need the rotten flesh anymore, guys. The lot standing in somebody's closet and scaring the holy Jesus out of them by going Burr. when they open up the closet door and they see a half-eaten flesh thingy with parts of skull and rib cage and just this green stuff you know I'm glad my nose is stuffed up right now because I can imagine that your smell I bet you I bet you stink really bad and I'm just I don't know. I, I still want to be your friend because you're kind of cool, but I don't know. Stench is a big part of my uh, life. I'm not the love of stench, but the hatred of stench. I don't like to smell stinky people. And even though we may consider you a pig, you're also a man. You're a pig man. So that makes you person and stinky person and me just don't do it um i'm sorry if i've angered you but you've got to go so guess what why are you right on the edge come on come come after me man come on you can do it I, oh even my sword broke i did i punch you to death i, I even had people want to get me from up there all right all right i've been in, um afk for approximately eight hours and it's looking like that. Let's go check out what is down there. I emptied the chests. Oh, 
And that is not how you do it. Alrighty. So, take two. Hmm. And why does this happen? I have nothing on me. And I got a gas hanging out right there. What the... F and F. Alright, let's run. Oh, you're gonna hit my stupid F. Ooh. He's destroying my... My... Oh. Jerk face. He just, just, just hit my um, smelter. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Um, as you see, I had no inventory on me. Uh, that is expected. That was expected. That was expected. That was expected. That was expected. Let me get some uh, blocks here. I don't have anything to break the blocks with. Yes. All right. I'm a smarty pants. Let's see how we go. Uh, let's do it one away. That was expected. So they're, they are filled to the top. So I imagine these things are kind of filled too. Oh, it's filled with crap. All right, so it's working its way out. We're basically f at full impact. I'm not going to go through it all. I did the bottom chest, and it turns out that it's approximately one stack of blocks per hour this gold farm does. So I'm going to collect my stuff and um, do one more thing before we go. Before I wanted to go, I wanted to tell you what is going on. As you see, there is a backup in the system after eight hours, so might be a little bit more than the uh, one gold block per hour if I had a system that was better at picking this stuff up than that. But anyways, um, underneath is hoppers and they all go into this hopper and this is just a one line item sorter and all I have in here is the gold. So anytime gold comes through here, the item sorter, separator, um, this detects and it goes in here and, and it does its thing. It does its impulse. This is the impulse one. There's a, a repeater there and a torch. Where did I, I forget where I put the torch on the back side of this one. That's what it is. So anything that's gold nuggets goes in here and anything that isn't gold nuggets goes in here, which goes into a lava. There's lava there, but we don't see particles for lava, and I don't know why I just fell off. And so what it is, is that whatever does not get pulled out, that's gold, goes into this hopper, then right into the dispenser. The dispenser is on a quick little timer, and the timer goes back to the dispenser to let it dispense into the lava. Pretty simple, all from it. Uh, impulse SV video probably four or five years old um, he had this old old style gold farm that I used one of the first big time videos I um, did a farm on this is actually my fourth or fifth gold type of gold farm but anyways he had um, an old version that you got on a reel and you went back and forth on the rails until you got what you needed so as you see, um, plenty of gold all the way up, and I'm not going to go through it, but I'm going to take some of this. Do I, yeah, I might as well take some of the, some blocks with me, and I'm going to take a couple of things of the gold. What we're going to do is we're going to make golden carrots, just like that, and we're going to put them right back in. We're going to continue making golden carrots, and that is how I am going to end the episode, is making golden carrots, because golden carrots, they're not the best thing in the world for eating, but they are definitely one of the better things, so I want to at least have the double chest of golden carrots. So I'm going to do that, I'm going to go fix my, um, whoa, I'm going to go fix my super smelter that the gas just blew up because i'm a derp and um have a great day guys
uh, from now on, hopefully you'll see me eating golden carrots instead of fish. Goodbye.